let's move over to our text editor where we can test some of this out and have a look at how the code really looks in a Perl script. Now, the way in which we can use the if operator, I should say the if statement, varies according to whether we want to use just one statement to be carried out if the condition is true or if we want to use a whole block. So I've set the variable a here to a value of 3. Now we can do something very simple like this. And we can put the condition right at the end. We can say if a is less than 3. Now this probably not a great example. I'm going to make the variable a2 so that we're able to see this actually working. We're going to save this to condition.pl and let's move over to our command prompt. As you can see, the Perl script evaluated our condition here, right at the end of the line, and it therefore carried out this command. If, however, we wanted to do more than one thing, rather than just printing out one quick piece of output or doing any other one simple statement, we have to put the if statement at the beginning. And this is probably the most typical syntax that you'll find for the if statement. We put the condition within brackets, then we use a pair of curly brackets. And I like to keep those on a separate line. Separate line each for each curly bracket just to make it absolutely clear what's going on. So if this condition evaluates true, then we're going to do a couple of things. We're going to say one line. I better make those double quotes. As we can see, we're able to put as many lines as we want within this block here. Now this is a block. This is a conditional block that is only executed when this condition is true. If we take a look at our command line again, we're able to see that the entire block is actually carried out. Now let's return very quickly to our script here. And we're going to change the value to 5. And then after our block, we're going to put a line that just says outside the block to let us know where we are. So now A is set to 5, and we're testing to see if A is less than 3. So theoretically, this block should never execute. Let's go back to our command prompt and see if that works out the way we expect it to. The only command that's executed is the line that tells us to print outside the block. So going back to our script, what Perl actually does, if this command is false, is it takes this curly bracket and it looks for the end of the block, it ignores everything in the block, and then it jumps straight down and continues proceeding in a linear way down the script line by line. So as we can see, this conditional statement here and the block actually breaks the linear progression of the script and allows us to branch out.